Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Ayokunle and I decided to come outside. You know, the sun is shining, it's beautiful. You know, I don't want to stay indoors, so I decided to come outside today to make um, to make this short video. Um, recently, I found out that so many students are actually, especially transfer students, are making a big mistake um, by applying to universities that are not quite good for transfer students. Um, please, before I continue, please hit the like button and uh, share this video to your friends who are interested in probably transferring to Georgia or applying afresh. So please uh, hit the like button, subscribe if this is your first time as well. Thank you. So there are so many students that are applying, that are trying to transfer from I mean, to Georgia, they are trying to transfer to Georgia, and um, a lot of students are actually ill informed. You know, they don't know which university is the most ideal university to apply to as transfer students. Um, so, I decided to uh, recommend one or two universities. Specifically, there is a particular university I've decided to recommend. Before I get into that, let me explain how the system works. So Georgia use what they call the ECTS system. It means European Credit Transfer and Accumulation System. So this system is um, is a standard system that is used in credit comparison. For example, um, if you're coming from a country like Nigeria, uh, in, in Nigeria we don't use the uh, ECTS system. As a transfer student, every single course carries weight. They carry a certain amount of credits. So all these credits will be um, recognized from your previous university. In Georgia, before you can graduate medical school, you must accumulate 360 credits. Okay? So uh, let's say you are in your fourth year in, in a country like Ukraine. Okay? And you've accumulated a total of 100 and... Um, let's say 170 credits so if you've accumulated 170 credits for example and you want to transfer the credit to a Georgian university you are not expected you don't expect the university to recognize all the credits it's not possible because for example in your first year you did some kind of irrelevant courses for, for example a course like Ukrainian language Ukrainian language is not a medical course. Another example is um, philosophy. These courses are not medical related. So the credit accumulated from, you know, from those courses cannot be recognized by most of where you transfer. So what it means is you are going to lose credits. That's why transfer students are set back. Another reason why the transfer students are set back could be because of um, the university they transfer to. Some universities don't, um, they are not, though they accept transfer credit, but they are still not uh, transfer friendly. And this is what I mean. So if you're a fourth year student and you've completed four years in your previous university and you're supposed to go to fifth year, if you transfer, they may put you in second year. And the reason for this is because um, one of the reasons is the one I explained earlier, but another reason is because the university don't see you as um, as a candidate they can make money from, because you are coming to their system and you are only going, they are only going to get your money for only two years, so they would rather set you back to two to second year so you can pay four years. So they set student back basically in order to make more money from students. So there are so many universities like that in Georgia. So there are three categories of universities in Georgia. There are some that don't take transfer students at all. There are some that accept transfer students, but they set them back. For example, if you are in fourth year, they will return you back to second year. I have so many examples of such. You know, I've applied for admission for students and they get massively, severely set back. A majority of the universities in Georgia will recognize about 70% of your credits and they will set you back by like for example a year but there is a particular university called Grigor Rubakitze University um, they won't set you back they will recognize 90 percent of your transfer credits it's it's evidence-based i would likely put a 
an admission letter of a particular student I got admission for in the university. I'll put it somewhere here. And uh, you can you can see the amount of credits recognized. You can see the amount of credits uh, accumulated from previous university and also the total amount of credits recognized from the uh, accumulated credits. So it's about 91 point something percent. So this student is a very happy student. There are so many uh, transfer students as well like, like that from, from Ukraine. They are not aware and they are just taking whatever they are, they are given. So I'll suggest you apply to Grigor Rubakitze University, uh, a well accredited university as well, not just any university. And um, if you have any question or you don't know how to go about it, you can reach out to me or maybe any other university. Yeah, but Grigor Rubakitze University will accept transfer students and they won't set you back significantly. You know, obviously they will not um, recognize certain credits that are not relevant, for example, um, philosophy, language courses or, or something like that. But other courses will be well recognized and um, you won't be set back significantly. You know, you won't be set back more than a semester if you will ever be set back. So um, the requirement is um, your WIAC certificates, your international passport, and your transcript as well. And for student transferring from Ukraine, they have special consideration for student transferring from Ukraine that are, are unable to get their transcript at the moment. Um, they will um, accept you as a, they will accept you temporarily. But when you arrive in Georgia, you have to bring your transcript. If you know you won't be able to get your transcript within the next two months or so, so you can apply as a fresh student, then when you arrive in Georgia, you bring your transcript to the university. So that's how they operate. So they are a little bit kind of lenient students from Ukraine. If you don't know how to go about it, like I said, you can reach out to me um, via my email address. I'm going to write it somewhere here or on Instagram. Reach out to me and uh, I can help you with the admission um, visa process. Hit, hit the like button and subscribe if this is your first time. Please do subscribe. Don't just watch my video or movie with. Um, hit the like button and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys again next time. Thank you. Bye.